So today is going to be raw. It's not one of those like happy, take care of yourself, all kind of his videos. Um, I am going to do this video on counseling. I actually just finished seeing my counselor this morning and I decided to do a video right after. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this is going to turn out to be like the best video I ever had. As you can see, I have no hair extensions in. My ha my face is like <laughs> almost make makeup free and I am exhausted. Um, I decided to do this video because a lot of people who have talked to me about their, you know, separate situations that they're dealing with. One of the things I say is like to go see a counselor. And I think there's a false perception out there that I am happy and well, I am happy, but that it was an easy road for me to get happy. And I've decided to do this video because after every single counseling session I have, I am raw I am tired, I am drained, I am exhausted, sometimes I am crying like a crazy person. It is not easy. Um, today honestly wasn't one of like the worst counseling sessions that I ever had. It was very helpful, it was actually really good, but there are times when I'm a lot more raw than I am today. Um, so a little bit about my first time to go see a counselor. Um, about the situation that happened last year, I was... A mess I was scared I knew that I needed to talk to somebody but I didn't know I didn't think I was strong enough to do it so my first appointment was supposed to be for at 9 a.m. in the morning and I did not go I chickened out and I was not ready yet to go see her um, my therapist is actually like really really good because she ended up calling me when I was a no-show to her appointment. I didn't think she was going to do that. And she was like, I know that you probably got scared, but that's okay. But I still want you to try one one more time. Let's just try to get through. At least she's walking through the door. So I rescheduled the appointment for 11. And that one I actually showed up to. And it was rough. I mean, for the first 10 minutes I sat down and I was, it was pleasantries. It wasn't like I was trying to like, say everything right at first. So it was kind of like, you know, Hey, how you doing? And she kind of looked at me and then I kind of looked at her and I wanted to talk, but I was still, and I was scared, you know? So as the conversation went on, she asked like, Hey, like if you're not ready to talk about whatever brought you here today, it's fine. We can talk about something else. And then as the situation came, I started talking more about what was going on. And it wasn't pleasant. I mean, I was ugly crying, like ugly, like mascara running down my face. Like I I'm an ugly cryer. <laughs> and it was rough. And after I left that session, I felt like shit. Not only did I tell somebody else, like my deepest, darkest secrets, um, that I had been holding on to myself that only a couple of the people knew, but it was exhausting just sitting there and crying the whole time. And when I got home, I remember laying in bed and I was like, I am never going to do this again. This was awful. I feel shitty. I don't feel like doing anything. I didn't feel like cooking. I didn't feel like doing homework. I didn't feel like talking to anybody. I was exhausted. But then it took about two days later and I started thinking about things that she said. And I was like, you know, what she's saying makes a lot of sense and it's actually kind of helpful. And if I start implementing those things into my daily life, then this counseling thing could actually be a good thing for me. And now let's see, I started going in January and it's September. So I've been going for about nine months now and I'm definitely in a better place than I was in January. So, and I go, I was going every week. Now I'm going every two weeks because my journey's getting, I'm, I'm more of in a healing situation with my journey. Um, this video is for people that are scared to go talk to a counselor. I get it. I get that you don't want to tell anybody else things that you've been holding on. You know, this it's part of your black cloud. And sometimes it's hard to get out of your comfort zone. Sometimes you get so used to being depressed and you get so used to being angry and so used to, you know, suppressing everything that you're feeling that it's hard to sit 
in front of somebody else and get out of your comfort zone. But I was telling somebody else yesterday, it's kind of like a band-aid. So when you're a kid, remember when you get hurt or whatever and you put a band-aid on, it's nine times out of ten, your sore is already healing. But you're so scared to rip off that band-aid that you can sometimes leave that band-aid on and you need to be healed. You're already healed or you already started to heal. So what you really need to do is get that courage to just kind of rip off that band-aid. Because when you rip off that band-aid, either you're already starting to heal or you're fully healed. But you're never going to know unless you try to rip off that band-aid. And yes, the band-aid hurts. It stings. It rips out your hairs. Oh, it's covered with TMI, huh? But it sucks. But it's worth it. Because if you keep walking around with that Band-Aid on and you never even check to see if you can be okay or if you are okay, then you're never really going to get better because you're stuck in your comfort zone. I hope that analogy made sense. It made sense when I was talking about it to somebody else, but hopefully you get the drift. Um, so yes, today is raw. I look like shit. I have no hair extensions in my hair is up in a clip. I am wearing yesterday's makeup. And I am tired and I'm probably not going to cook dinner today, but that is okay because I did my self care today. I went to go talk to a counselor because I know that my counselor helps me be a better me. So granted, I don't look good today and that's okay. I'll take a loss, but I feel good today. Sort of. I'm a little tired because counseling sessions are emotional, but overall I feel good. So for any of you guys that are out there who are scared to go talk to a counselor and scared to, you know, unleash those deep, dark secrets, deep, dark secrets, I can't talk today, um, that are really just impacting your, your life negatively, I really hope that you guys take from this video that, yes, talking to a counselor does suck initially. It is not all rainbows and sunshine and like cookies and cakes. It sucks, but you will feel better the more that you continue to go and the more that you open yourself up and the more that you get out of your comfort zone and start taking care of you because nobody's going to take care of you unless you take care of you and everything else around you can wait and fall to shit and that is fine as long as you are okay okay you guys that is just about all the energy that I have today I am like I said very exhausted but I thought it was would be a really good idea for me to do a video where I was raw and you guys got to see me in another light other than like, you know, my happy cheery self with, you know, my long ass extensions in and fake eyelashes and red lipstick. <laughs> Cause that's me, but that's not me 24 seven. Okay. You guys, that is it. One of us will post another video next week. You guys can always message Megan, me and I, you know, privately if you guys ever need to talk or get advice about doing certain things now we are not medical professionals so I cannot help you on that but if you just need to vent and to talk to somebody and you feel like nobody else understands you but we might always feel free to um and also share the page it would be so awesome for other people to be able to you know relate to experiences that one of the three of us have gone through okay that's it bye you guys